Thank you for joining me, Amber Brewster, for Pilates today. Um, we're going to get started lying down on our backs today. Bring your feet hip distance parallel and just lie down on your back. Press the arms gently into the mat. Just begin with your breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Continue deep belly breathing, expanding the belly on the inhale and funneling the ribs together as you exhale. Notice the weight of the pelvis and the weight of the shoulders. Three more full breaths. Another deep inhale through the nose. And exhale completely with a gentle tuck of the pelvis, imprinting low back. Inhale, release the imprint. Neutral spine, exhale, pelvic curl. Inhale, release through neutral. Exhale, pelvic curl. Low belly muscles draw in and up. Release through neutral on the inhale. And exhale, pelvic curl. Release through neutral spine. Exhale, pelvic curl, and release one more. Exhale, pelvic curl, continue to lift the hips up as you roll the spine up one vertebra at a time. Lifting the hips, hold on the inhale, and exhale, roll the spine down, releasing through neutral to inhale. Exhale, pelvic curl, roll up into your bridge. Lifting your hips high, a little tuck of the pelvis, lengthen your tailbone towards your knees. And roll down, exhale. Release through neutral, inhale, and exhale, pelvic curl, roll up. Inhale goes between the shoulder blades. And exhale, roll it down, one more. Exhale, pelvic curl, roll up into your bridge. Holding up, you'll lift your heels up off the floor and lower both heels. Lift the heels and lower. Rolling up through the ball of the foot equal, big toe to little toe as you lift and lower both heels. Three, lift two, Lift one, lower the heels and roll the spine down. Release through neutral to inhale. Exhale, pelvic curl, roll up into your bridge. Holding at the top, you're gonna shift your hips to the right and to the left. So it feels kind of like a side bend And imagine your butt was just sliding across the floor as you shift right and shift left. Four, both sides, three, right and left. Keep those hips high, two, and one more, right and left, back through center. And roll the spine down, release through neutral to inhale. Exhale, pelvic curl, roll up into your bridge. Hold it high, inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Hold the arms overhead as you exhale and roll down. Notice the stretch through the shoulders and the chest muscles. Release through neutral, sweep the arms back towards the floor by the hips. And exhale, pelvic curl, roll up into your bridge. 
Bridge lifted. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, roll the spine down. Release through neutral and sweep the arms down. Two more. Exhale, pelvic curl, roll up bridge. Keep hips lifted. Inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. And exhale, roll the spine down. Release through neutral to inhale. The arms come down by the sides. Exhale, pelvic curl, roll up. Inhale, the arms reach up overhead. And exhale, roll the spine down. Release through neutral. The arms press down by the sides. Little pelvic curl. Imprint low back to float right leg and then left leg into tabletop. Holding the imprint of the back, pelvis to rib cage is all on the mat. Tap the right foot and then the left foot. Continue alternating. Focus on keeping the spine on the mat from between the shoulder blades down to your pelvis. Feel the low belly muscles draw in and up towards the low back to maintain the abdominal control. Four, three, two, one. Both legs into tabletop. Bring the arms to a T. Turn the palms to face up. Spine twist, knees right. And center. Inhale, knees left. Exhale, center. Rock right and center, left and center. Notice where the rotation is coming from. Do you feel it more in your low spine? I want you to bring it up more around the rib cage area. Four, rock left for three, two more, exhale breath. Pulls in the rib cage as you rotate left and center. Hold it there. Kick both legs up and bend the knees. Exhale, legs straight and bend. Kick up four. And as you straighten those legs, maybe you lower them so you can get that full extension through the leg. Two. Squeeze the legs together. One more. Hold the legs straight up. Open the legs and close. Open and close. So you make a big V and squeeze them together. Open three. You can do this with bent knees if you're feeling extra challenged into the low belly and feel that low back coming off the mat. Hold the legs, bend the knees and set the right foot down and left foot down. Bring your hands behind your head. For any osteoporosis, just make sure to keep a neutral spine as we curl up into a chest lift. If spine flexion doesn't work for you, just focus on the abdominal muscles connecting pubic bone to sternum as you exhale. Inhale, hold and lower down. Take an inhale. Exhale, funnel the ribs forward towards the pelvis as you curl up into your chest lift. And inhale, lower down. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl up, hold it there. And pulse up. If you're not in the chest lift position, just use that pulse to feel the ribs come together a little more and down towards the spine. Three, two, one, and lower the head down. Inhale, exhale, curl up, chest lift, pull the right knee into the chest, lower the right foot and lower the head. 
even in neutral. Exhale, just pull one leg in towards the chest and feel the belly muscles pull in more deeply, lower down. Exhale, right leg lifts and lowers. Exhale, left leg lifts and lowers. Two more. Exhale, curl up right knee and lower. Exhale, curl up left leg. Inhale to lower. Hold here, float the right leg into tabletop. And then the left leg. Inhale, breath, lengthen spine as you exhale, curl up. Hold into your chest, lift, toe taps, right, left, right, and left. Focus on those low belly muscles drawing in and up to keep the low back imprinted on the mat. Now add rotation, right, as the right knee comes in, and left right and left. Keep those elbows open wide. Feel the rotation happening from your center spine. Left, two more, right and left. Back through center and rest the head down. Pull the legs into your chest and stretch the left leg out. Right leg into tabletop, arms can be to that T with palms up. You're gonna stretch the right leg up to 90 degrees and flex the foot, point the foot. As you flex, feel the length to the back of the leg. Flex and point, as we've been seated a lot. <laughs> really focus on keeping that leg straight and when you flex, reach the heel up towards the ceiling a little more for more length and stretching. Two. One more, flex the foot, hip circles. Right leg crosses over the left, keep the pelvis stable on the ground. Circle. Inhale, full circle. And exhale, full circle. Two more, inhale. Torso is steady. Last one, exhale, hold it there. Foot is flexed. We open the right leg to the right side, circle down across over left leg, and back up. That's four. Yeah, are you at 30? If you could mute yourself, that'd be helpful. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And last two. One more. Pause, bend the knee, and slide the right leg down. Pull the left knee into the chest. Go ahead and wrap the hands around the front of the knee and just pull the knee into the chest. Get a little length as you reach your right leg out. Press the right leg down for support. Arms come open. Left leg kicks up to your 90. Begin to flex the left foot and point. Flex and point. And notice if that left knee bends at all when you flex the foot. Use that left thigh muscle a little more to keep that leg straight. Four, three, two, one more. Flex the left foot, circles with the left leg, cross over the right, circle down around out to the left side. Pause, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and circle two, and last one, pause, and switch the direction, left leg out to the left side, cross over right leg, circle for five, inhale circle, exhale circle, two more, and exhale, pause, Bend the left knee and stretch the left leg out. Stretch both arms overhead. As you exhale, pull both knees into the chest. Inhale, stretch both legs out. Focus on those low belly muscles supporting the spine. 
Circle the arms towards the knees as you exhale, pull the knees in. Two more, inhale, stretch those legs out, focus on the low belly muscles supporting your low back and exhale, pull the knees in. One more, inhale, stretch. Think of a little pelvic curl to support that and exhale, pull the knees in. You'll stretch your left leg out. Cross the right leg over to the left, a little spinal twist. Gaze over at your right hand. Then back through center. Stretch the right leg out, arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, left knee into the chest. Guide the left knee across to the right side and rotate to the left. Little spinal twist, a little stretch into that left glute. And back through center. And stretch the left leg out, arms overhead. And roll over to your right side. Okay, we're going to come up onto our right elbow today. So it's a little more challenging. If you're feeling any discomfort, please just come down to the floor. Okay, so that left hand is gonna be forward of the torso. Now here I want you to try and pull that right side body up away from the mat and pull that right elbow towards your hip so you get a little more connection under that right arm. So we're not just kind of lounging there. Okay, so both legs are straight. You're gonna exhale and lift both legs up. They're just slightly forward of your hips and lower down. As you exhale and lift both legs, that right side might press down into the mat, that's okay, and then lower. Think of that left side body bending to lift the legs and lower. If you need any padding under that right hip, please add and lower. Exhale, lift for two and lower. Exhale, lift, hold it up high. Separate the legs about two inches. Little kicks forward and back, about a foot. Control it with the belly and back muscles. So both legs scissor forward and back in opposition. Four, three, two, it's all about control with the torso. And pause the legs, bend the right knee, come up onto your right forearm. Now here both side bodies are long. That left leg is straight out and hovering. You're going to flex the left foot, and you're going to imagine there's a wall behind that left heel and you're going to push back into the wall. And as you push that left heel back, make sure the pubic bone comes forward. You can even bring your left hand onto that low belly to make sure the pelvis doesn't tilt forward and let the belly spill out. You want to keep that control with those belly muscles. And each time you press back, you feel that booty <laughs> for three, and two, one more, point the left foot, small circles, clockwise, you're clockwise, <laughs> four, three, two, and one, reverse the direction, six, reach the toe out from the hip, so you get the length through the whole body, three, two, one, side kick. Go ahead and stretch your left arm forward. Sweep that left leg back. On your inhale, the left leg kicks forward, left arm back. Exhale, kick it back. Inhale, forward, double pulse. Exhale, kick it back. Inhale, pulse, pulse. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, pulse, pulse, exhale, back. Four more. 
Get that full breath. Two. One more. And set the left hand down. We'll press up. Okay, you're gonna keep your left leg stacked on top of your right. The right hand will be in line with your right hip and out at an angle. Okay, now I want you to just let your right side kind of droop down. Right side. <laughs> and then you're going to side bend, bringing that left arm overhead, pushing into the right hand. On an exhale, drop the right side body towards the right hand and sweep your left. Inhale, lift the left arm overhead. Push into the floor to side bend. And switch. Inhale. And exhale. Moving with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. And two. And exhale. One more, and exhale. Okay, so you can continue with that same work or join us in a forearm side lift. Very similar, just adding the hips to lift up high. Okay, so that left foot is forward of the right foot behind. Okay, the knees are bent. That forearm is a little forward of your right shoulder. On your inhale, stretch the left arm overhead and lift the hips high. Maybe walk those legs out just a little bit so when you press up, that right shoulder comes right over the right elbow. And then lower the hips, bend the knees, and lower the left arm. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift the hips. Sweep that left arm overhead, hold here, lower the hips, left arm down. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, lift the hips, inhale, lengthen left arm overhead, and exhale, lower the hips, bend the knees. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift the hips, sweep that left arm overhead, take an inhale, and exhale, lower. Go ahead and press yourself up. We'll come over to the other side. We'll be on the left elbow. Legs are straight. Bring that right hand in front of your body. Legs are straight, just forward of the hips. Hips stay stacked. Inhale and exhale. Lift both legs, six, and lower. Exhale, lift the legs. That left side body may touch. And lower, the left side body lifts. Exhale, lift the legs. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze the legs to lift that top leg a little higher. And lower. Next time we lift, we hold. Separate the feet about two to three inches. And kick the legs back and forth. Quick legs, quick feet. Steady pelvis. Steady torso, belly and back muscles supporting the spine. And you swim those legs. Four, three, two, and one. Hold the legs, bend the left knee, bring it forward. You'll come up onto the left forearm. Right hand can be in front of you or on the right hip, your choice. Go ahead and flex the right foot. 
Push down into the left forearm and pull it towards your left hip so you stay lifted in that left side body. Now the right leg, you push the heel into that imaginary wall and then release the leg forward. Press it back and forward. And maybe that right hand comes to the low belly just to give you that connection with your pelvis staying stable meaning the pelvis isn't rocking back and forth with the leg. Three, press back two, press back one, point the right foot, small circles, clockwise direction, keep that foot as high as the hip or maybe a little higher. Try to keep those shoulders stacked not coming forward. Now reverse the direction of that circle, the size of a grapefruit to a basketball. Four, three, two, and one. Hold the leg, bring that right arm forward. On your inhale, the right leg kicks forward, flex the foot, and exhale, kick the right leg back. We double pulse, inhale forward, Exhale back, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and four, and three, two more, last one, bend the right knee, stack it on top of the left, and press yourself up. Okay, so the legs, knees are bent, stacked with right foot forward of left. From here, that left arm is in line with the left hip. On your inhale, the right arm stretches overhead and you drop. As you exhale, drop the left side body and sweep the right arm to your right hip. Inhale, press into the floor to side bend. And exhale, side bend right. And inhale, side bend left. And focus on those side ribs. Exhale, pulling in and under the armpit. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale, right arm stretches overhead. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. So you can stick with this one or join for the forearm side lift. Right foot. You're on the instep of the inside of that right foot which is in front of the left. Take an inhale, lengthen that right arm. As you exhale, press into the left arm and lift the hips. Inhale, right arm overhead, side bend, lift the hips higher. And exhale, bend the knees and lower down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, press down to lift. Inhale, right arm overhead, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, reach that right arm over as you press down into the mat, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, press up. Inhale, stretch right arm overhead. And exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, lift. Inhale, stretch and lengthen right side. And exhale, lower down. We'll come over to our forearms, lying on our belly. Elbows under the shoulders. Little pelvic curl, gaze at your navel and a little pelvic curl. If 
Feel the belly muscles pull in and then gaze forward, pushing down and forward with the forearms. Okay, you're coming into like a little sphinx position. I want the forearms pressing down and the feet or the hands pressing palms down into the mat. Good. Okay, now take an inhale breath. As you exhale, you're going to press into both hands, lift the elbows up about two inches off the mat, and then lower the elbows down. Take an inhale, lengthen the crown of the head up. As you exhale, press into the hands, lift the elbows just a little. Those forearms come up. It's all arm work here. And then lower. Inhale, back extension lifts up. Exhale, press into those arms. Hands are on the floor. Maybe you straighten fully. Make sure that pelvis comes forward. Lower the elbows. Take an inhale, lift. Exhale, press into the hands, lift the elbows. Maybe you straighten the arms. Bend the elbows, lower down. Stack the hands underneath the head. Little pelvic curl, lengthen the tail towards the feet. As you exhale, lift the hands with the head. On an inhale, stretch both arms out to a T. Exhale, bend the elbows, stack under the head, and lower down. Inhale, lift hands with head. Exhale, arms to a T. Inhale, lift the head, the heart up forward. Exhale, bend the elbows under the head and lower. Inhale, float hands and head. Exhale, arms reach out to a T. Inhale, lift the head. And exhale, bend the elbows and lower down. One more. Inhale, peel up, baby back extension. Exhale, arms to a T. Inhale, lengthen out of the low back. And exhale, bend the elbows, lower down. You're going to turn your head to your right, placing the left cheek on the mat. You're going to bring your arms, tent the fingers out wide. You're going to lift the head one inch off the mat. And on an inhale, lift the head, the heart up forward, pressing those hands into the floor. Elbows are up. Okay, now lift the head and heart up just a little bit more. Pelvic curl, stay out of that low back. Rotate head right. And center. And rotate head left. And center, right. Center and left. Center, two more, right. Feel that chin tuck towards the left armpit, back through center, hold into your back extension, flip the arms to a T, hold here, with each inhale breath, lengthen the crown of the head up and forward, with each exhale breath, their front ribs pull away from the mat, three, two, one more, Stack the hands under the forehead, lower down. Bring the hands by the two hips and press the palms into the thighs. Lift the head and chest about two to three inches off the mat. Okay, now feel the shoulders. They want to come down to the floor. I want you to lift them away and feel the mid-back muscles squeezing the arms together. Okay, now lift right leg, left leg, little pelvic curl, stay out of the low back. Reach your fingertips towards your feet as you squeeze the thighs with the hands. Swim the legs right and left. Notice 
how the body wants to go right to left, and I want you to try and stay as stable as you can. As those legs kick up and down, keep that breath flowing, shoulders lifted from the mat, tuck the pelvis, four, three, if you need a rest, rest the head down, last two, one, stop the feet, lower left foot, right foot, stack the hands, under forehead. Hands under the shoulders, fingertips in line with the collarbones, and elbows draw in to the sides. Take an inhale breath, keep the knees down on the ground, neutral spine as you exhale, press into both hands, lift yourself up. Now you're in that knee plank position. Lift your hips up. It's just a knee plank. There you go. Okay, now we're going to bend the elbows. Inhale about halfway and then exhale, press up your push up. Think of that pubic bone coming forward and maintaining that spine in neutral. Bend and press up. Think of a little tuck of that pelvis, keeping those belly muscles engaged. Three, keep those elbows squeezing in, feel those triceps, two, one more, press it up, send your hips back over the knees, come into your little quadruped position. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. As you exhale, right arm reaches up overhead. Keep your gaze down at the floor, back of the neck long. And lower the right hand. Exhale, float the left arm forward. Thumbs up to the ceiling. And lower left arm down. Exhale, right arm stretches forward. And exhale, left leg stretches back. Can you reach the right fingertips a little more forward and lengthen out through the left foot? Square hips, low belly draws in. Think of that little pelvic curl that we started with at the beginning of class. Think of those low belly muscles continuing to pull in. Maybe you come down to the forearms, it's okay. And lower the right hand, lower the left knee. Exhale, stretch the left arm forward. Inhale and exhale, right leg stretches back. Keep the length out through the back of the neck, reaching fingers and toes away from each other. Push into that right hand, lift away from the mat so we're not sinking into that shoulder blade. Lower the left hand and right knee. As you exhale, you're going to reach your right arm out straight. On your inhale, rotation, gaze up past the right fingertips. As you exhale, rotate, threading right arm under left armpit. Inhale, open. And exhale, rotate. So technically trying to keep that spine neutral and we're just rotating about the spine as you exhale. Inhale, open and rotate up towards the ceiling. And exhale. Last one, inhale, reach that right arm up. And exhale, rotate. Inhale, right arm reaches to the ceiling. And exhale, lower the right arm down, other side. Inhale, left arm out to a T. You lift up to the ceiling. And exhale, rotate, threading right under right. Inhale, open and expand the chest. And exhale, rotate. Reach up to the ceiling, four. 
exhale, thread under right. Reach up for three. As you rotate, try to keep that mid back long. And reach up, two, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Stretch the left arm up to fully inhale, and lower the left arm as you exhale. You're gonna tuck your toes under, and walk your hands forward of the shoulders. So it's like one hand distance forward. Okay, we're gonna come into Panther. What's Panther? <laughs> My bossy training with uh, Raya. So he calls this Panther. As you exhale, you're gonna lift both knees, coming forward to bring those shoulders over the wrists. Now you're gonna push back with the arms, keeping those knees lifted. On your inhale, come forward, and exhale, reach it back. Inhale, forward, keep those knees hovering, exhale, reach it back. Keep the spine long as you come forward and back. Two, forward, exhale, back. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Hold it there, lower the knees, come forward, walk the hands under the shoulders. Take an inhale, gaze forward, extend the spine. Exhale, neutral or spine flexion if that's okay for your body. Inhale, extending the spine. Exhale, come through neutral or round into flexion. Two more. Inhale, extend. Pull the heel of the hands back towards the knees to get more open into the chest and exhale, round. Inhale, extend. And exhale, round. Come back through neutral. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, float and hover both knees. Knees are under hips, hands are under shoulders. From here, you're going to exhale and float that right leg up. And lower. Switch left leg. Exhale, lift. Keep that left knee bent. And lower. And if you need to, keep both knees on the floor. That's okay. Exhale, lift left, right. And lower. And exhale, float left leg up. And lower, both feet, lower the knees, send your hips back and tuck the toes, child's pose. Slide the hands back towards the hips. You can roll the wrists out. And then reach the arms forward as if you were opening a doorknob and then pull the shoulder blades back. Reach forward. Grab that doorknob and pull back. Reach forward, articulate through the whole wrist. Think index finger reaches, wraps all the way through pinky. Three, and two, good. One more. Lower the arms, roll the shoulders back. Walking those hands back out into your quadruped. If you need anything, it's like hurting your wrists at all, roll up that mat. It'll give you more support, bringing the heel of the hands above the fingers a little bit. Okay, you're gonna tuck those toes under. As you exhale, float the knees up using those low belly muscles. And then stretch the right leg back straight. Keep that left knee floating. And then bend the right knee, bring it forward. Left leg stretches back. And then it bends to come forward. Now stretch the right leg back. 
and then the left leg. You're in a full plank. Maybe you come down to the forearms. Leg pull, right leg, straight lifts up. Tap the toe, stick with that right leg and lift. Straight right leg lifts, four. As you lift that right leg, the pubic bone comes forward. So you keep those belly muscles and pelvis stable. Last one, lower the right foot, bend the knees, take a little breather, take an inhale. You're gonna exhale and float both knees. You'll stretch the left leg out. Exhale and stretch the right leg out. Push into those hands, make sure your shoulders are connected around the ribs. Exhale, left leg floats up. Tap the foot down and exhale, lift. Lift four. Exhale, lift three. Lift two. One more, straight leg lift. Toes down, bend the knees and send your hips back into a child's pose. Just notice the breath. As you reach your arms straight forward, get a little stretch into the shoulder joints. Make space between the ears and the shoulders. Walk the hands as wide as your mat. And walk your left hand to meet the right. So it's a little side bend, stretching out the left side body. With each exhale breath, pulling the belly away from the thighs. And back through center and inhale. And then walk that right hand over to the left. Reach both sit bones back, elongating out through the spine. Feel that length through the right shoulder down into the right hip. And back through center. Walk the hands back to a seated position. We'll stretch both legs out. Feet are about two to three inches apart for your spine stretch. So neutral spine we find when seated or when lying down. Okay, so if you have any contraindications for spine flexion, when I say spine flexion, make sure your spine stays neutral. Okay, so reaching the arms up overhead. You're going to lean forward as you exhale. That's a hinge at the hips. You can stay here, flex the feet, reach the arms up overhead, lengthen out through the spine. Can you get a little lift out through the crown of the head from the sit bones? Good, I know it's challenging. <laughs> and then lower both arms as you exhale, maybe around the spine if that served your body. Now try to create length with the spinal muscles, reaching the breastbone forward over the legs, reaching out through the heels by flexing the feet. Really think of those sit bones reaching back. Maybe you bring those hands so you can press back into the floor so you get a little more length forward. And then tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the neck. Now the arms lift, lengthen the spine through neutral. Inhale as you up upright and exhale, lower both arms. Inhale, the arms lift overhead. 
Neutral spine as you exhale, hinge forward at the hips, reach up and forward, reach those arms up. As you exhale, lower the arms, maybe spine flexion. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale, pull the belly muscles in to support this folding at the hips. On an inhale, the arms lift overhead, find length from fingers to hip bones. Lifting up to your seated position and exhale, lower both arms. Okay, we're gonna do just two stretches. Bend the left knee, bring that left foot to the inside of the right leg. You're gonna rotate towards your left knee. So navel to the left knee. Right hand will be on the right leg. You'll lift the left arm up and side bend towards the right. So you're getting a stretch through the right inner thigh, back of the leg, and up through the left side body. Keep your breath flowing. With each inhale breath, growing more spinal length. Rise up slowly on an inhale. We'll switch the legs. Right leg comes to the inside of the left leg. Left leg is straight, foot flexed. You're gonna rotate towards your right knee. Left hand is on the inside of that left leg. Reach the right arm up, inhale, spine grows tall. As you exhale, side bend over to the left. So your gaze is under that right armpit. Flexing the left foot, keeping that left leg active. The breath, notice how the inhale is shortened. Can you create length with your breath and match both the inhale and exhale length? And rise up on an inhale. And exhale, lower the arms. You can cross the legs or come to a kneeling position. <sighs> arms reach down to the floor, sit up tall, and right ear drops to right shoulder as you reach that left arm to the floor. And up and over, left ear to left shoulder, reaching through the right fingertips. back up. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. And exhale, circle down. One more time, center and balance, lifting up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Good work, everyone. <laughs>